Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how I can renew the you know SSL certificate for the uh you know HTTPS access like a website access you know, or exchange server you know access or remote VPN access. They all need the you know HTTPS four four three access and then need the certificate. We have just uh policy changes you know in the world the certificate will be expired every 365 days this means every year we need to uh, renew the certificate so normally if i wanted to renew the certificate i prefer to use the digital digital utility which i downloaded we can you know search for digital utility and to download i already downloaded this one and then I tried on my Windows 2016. If I try to open the Digiset Utility, you know, from Windows 2016 server or Windows 10, I can, you know, if I try to create a CSR, I import this, you know, current CSR, you know, for the certificate and then click generate. I get this error message says, you know, CSR could not be created. I click OK. This is for Windows 2016 server or Windows 10 computer. I get this error. However, I can do this from the Windows 2012 uh, to server file. I just uh, double click to open this one again, run, and then click accept. So currently, when I open the, you know, digit Utility it shows the current certificate installed on the on the server, which we have three certificates you know installed. So, for example, if I want to renew the certificate for www.ccq2020.com.au, I just highlight this one and then click C, create a CSR, and then it will ask you to import the attributes from this you know. This full name to the CSR, I just click yes because I want to. And then I will see the common name, which is the you know the full name for the certificate and also the alternative names. I have two names and then this organization, you know, department, city, uh, you know, state, country, and also the key size. This is the common certificate for the key size. I just click here generate then you know i can you see on windows 2012 r2 i don't get error message i just generated this you know the csr file and then if i just click save to file i save to this uh this file to the you know documents folder i click yes click save then i can close this one and then I close, I just minimize this one. If I go to the Google Chrome, I can also do this, you know. I want to analyze the CSR file. If I want to analyze this file, I can open this one, CSR decoder. So I just right click this one to open. And then in this one, in this one, paste the same, paste the same, paste the same, paste the CSR here or just to open this one. So if I go there, I 
just select this one I just uh, created the CSR file I select all and then I go to the website Go to this website, then I paste. So when I paste the CSR file, it shows you know what the information in the CSR, like you know the common name for the domain, alternative name, you know just two names. You know I just want to double check the organization and then organization unit IT, and then this you know the city you know and the key size because it's already used by the website i just need to renew i just double check this one so we can use the decoder you know to we can use Use this one. Uh, sorry. Use the CSR decoder, you know, to you know analyze the you know certificate request file to confirm this one. After this one is done, we can just uh, go to the you know DigiSet or other website, you know, to request the certificate. We will request the certificate. It will ask you to verify your domain name, which you need. Normally, they will ask you to create a, you know, TST for a recorder, recorder, you know, in the domain, in the public domain. Like, uh, when you get this information, you will need to go to your domain, public, you know, the DNS management and create a domain. Uh, TST file, just create TST file. I put the add, which means the uh, the name of the domain, the root name of the domain, and then put the you know the code. The code is a random code, like you know the website, uh, like Digiset or other, you know, uh, certificate distributor will give you the you know the radio for this TST record and like you know Edison they put it in they will send you this one and then you will put this you know to set the TTR and then click save after you create this TXT record and then click save and then they will verify the record and then they will issue the certificate when we get the uh, certificate issued we can uh, you know download the you know certificate bundle which is a zip file and then we can just uh, go back to the server which we generated the certificate we can go to the you know the open this one open add and remove and then certificate and then click add computer next no computer finish and then after we just go this one
go ahead and scroll over one two can you know then we can access the website with the you know correct certificate yeah that's all i show you today thank you